Good morning, dear colleagues. We start our working day, and the first press briefing is about the presentation of the film project Inchi, the other. And I invite to the floor Grigory Grishkan. He's an IDP from Donbass and the author of this film project. Hello, everybody. I represent a new, unprecedented, unique project which has no analogs in the history of uh, modern Ukraine. Its peculiarity is in the fact that I am a person, while being a person with broken, not limited, but hindered physical abilities. You know, when we talk about limited physical abilities, we do limit a person at right from the start. I want to prove to our Ukrainian society, which suffers from discrimination, that being a special person, you still can reach any heights that interest you. The aim of this project is a uh, attempt to draw our society's attention to people who require special attention and support. This is an attempt to influence the consciousness of uh, the majority and thus to make the world kinder and better. While working on this project, I do want to popularize Ukraine in the world and to bring our country to a new cultural level. A full-length feature film will be made, psychological drama, and the main male part will be played by myself as uh, my outer disadvantage cannot be hidden by any means, then the protagonist or the main character of the film will be a person with uh, hindered physical abilities who has reached a lot in his life, achieved a lot in his life. He is the owner of a well-run business and elite property. However, he does not have a family. As every person, he wants to love and be loved. During the film, a, uh, the viewers will be in a constant tension, be in suspense, because of the world of events. The plot of the film is ready and now the script is being written. The future director of the project, the author of a dozen films with many years of uh, work in uh, film and television, Vincent Metal, will do this. I want very much this film to be screened, first of all, in Ukraine and also be presented at many movie festivals, including Le, the Cannes Festival. In order to realize this project, we need $50,000. After the film is released in Ukraine, I want to... I have the intention to break even and uh, return the investment, as I do not doubt for a moment than this, that this film and this project is doomed to success. Besides, this film will help many people who, to this or that extent, have lost confidence in themselves. After watching this film, many people will be able to review their attitude towards life and to again believe in their own strengths and to change their lives for the better. I also want to draw your attention to the budget. As I said, this will take $50,000. Out of this amount, $12,000 will be 
paid for cameras and other equipment, then the royalties for the players, including the director, $18,300. I also want to involve in this project a well-known Ukrainian actor, Alexei Horbunov, as far as the score, musical score is concerned. We plan to address Svetoslav Karchuk, and I also want to give the floor to the movie director of this project, Vincent Metal. Hello. I am Vincent Metal, as Grigori said. Thank you. I am a television and movie director. Also, I have my own theater, the Grey Theater. And I forewarn the usual question about the topicality of the project. I want to answer this question as I see him. As I think, and uh, well, this is evident, we're going to Europe now, we're talking about this all the time and everywhere. However, regrettably, if we take an average Ukrainian, this person is rather archaic in their mentality and their views. What is habitual and usual for us in Europe often can be unacceptable these are the issues of race discrimination and also discrimination of a person <coughs> according to the fact of uh, hindered physical abilities. And in principle, this uh, film project is devoted to this issue. It's understood that to embrace in one film all the issues that regrettably distinguish our modern Ukrainian from a full-fledged European, and then you never do this, you always raise one issue, one idea, and this is this idea that we want to cover in the film The Other. I'd like to talk a bit about Grigori when we met, why I was very interested in this project. From the start I was very cautious because I didn't want to make a project for a very narrow milieu and narrow audience because such films in essence they do not look like films and very rarely they are artistically valuable. So when I went to meet Grigori I did have some precautions and apprehensions. However, when I saw him, I did believe in this idea, not exactly in the idea, but in the fact that whatever we invent, whatever we decide to do, Grigori will insist on and achieve what he wants. This is a first step, whether it's small or big, I can't, I won't tell you. We are now in this magnificent center. Thank you for your support. And ahead of us, well, we've left some achievements behind, achieved due to Grigori, and in ahead of us, knowing Grigori, I'm confident that we will have a uh, good quality feature product. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you, Rigori. Colleagues, any questions? Or maybe you want to inquire about something to be more precise? Dear friends, I want to express a great support to everybody for the fact that people whom I met in life, they do help me and they do believe in me. First of all, I'd like to check, uh, to thank a person without whom 
I probably wouldn't be able to launch this project Vincent Mittel. I want to shake his hand and also I want to thank Vyacheslav Redko because he advised me to contact the Ukrainian Crisis Media Center with this briefing and to introduce this project to the society. I also want to say that this film it will be for everybody including the people who come back from the anti-terrorist operation zone now who are under firing and under barrage and shelling and who regrettably become people with hindered physical abilities. I don't want to express myself in another way. I want this project to awaken, awake in our society people so that the discrimination is at least a bit broken so that people who watch this film become a bit kinder to each other and after this after this film i think our society becomes better thank you thank you Vyacheslav Redko, I have a question i know you for quite a long time grigory we are fellow countrymen and uh, i was surprised first to see you as a participant in an intellectual game you show with your example that people who have such problems let's put it like that as you can be a brother being active participants of our society so i want to wish you success and luck and uh, the growth to your team and knowing your insistence i am sure that this will be a high quality product and we'll see the positive result quite soon. Keep up the good work. Thank you for your warm words. Thank you very much. Another question. <clears throat> I have a question to the film director. Will this uh, film cover the problem of just one person uh, with uh, problematic physical abilities, or will it also touch upon other things like you mentioned uh, racial discrimination or how the custom was conducted because uh, Rigori told us about Alexei Horbunov but maybe others will be not actors the film will raise just one issue we won't have racial discrimination there because as I told you we should not overwhelm the feature product there will be just one amateur actor <laughs> because this is necessary according to the script because i have a professional theater i run the professional theater the great theater of uh, psycho feeling analysis and uh, as i am now shooting another film where other stars are are being filmed, uh, including Alexei Horbunov. It is logical that he comes to my next project, but uh, we will be other people starring there, but so far we'll keep it secret. As far as the script and whether this is going about one person, yes. Any artistic product does require that it is about just one story about one person a hero so the character of Grigory Grishkan will be this hero as uh, for whether we will raise the problems of the society like they did this in the film tribe where there is quite a number of uh, people who are hard of hearing and who are mute <coughs> no we won't do this because I put a task for myself to write a script for a maximally broad audience, we are not going to be peddling sorrow and uh, sympathy. What I liked very much in Rigori, what I was afraid of seeing and what I haven't seen is peddling the sympathy. We are not going to do this in our film. 
Just one question. Why we are asking the questions now, we should ask them after the film. Thank you very much. I don't have anything more to say. Any other questions? If there are no questions, then thank you, Vincent. Thank you, Grigori. Oh, there's still one question from Vyacheslav Rytko. Could you tell us, do you understand, uh, have you set a deadline for the release of the film? Regrettably, we can't talk about the release date now because we depend on finance and we can tell you how much time the shooting will take. It's 60 days as we will have some difficulties connected to the fact that we have an amateur actor. This is a rather long time for a feature film and then post-production will take two to three months because we'll t work with Ursa uh, camera and it has uh, a uh, high pixel capacity so it will be a rather difficult work. <laughs> No other questions. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you, Rehori. The Ukrainian Crisis Media Center is going to and uh, is ready to help you in the information way as much as we can. Please do come again. Thank you very much. And our next briefing will be in four minutes.